happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday evening. Happy Whimsical Wednesday. Yay! We are here. Let's get going on our project. My name is Tracy. Uh, you are on Dixie Bell's Facebook page and Dixie Bell's Instagram page. I'm coming to you live from San Antonio, Texas. I'm a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell, and we are here together every single Wednesday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time to do whatever's going on in my shop. Tonight, a metal file cabinet. We are gonna get a little crazy with the metal file cabinet. Um, if you follow me on Tracy's Fancy, I actually posted a file cabinet that I did last year, but I posted it yesterday because I knew I was doing another file cabinet. You guys get inspired by the craziest things. So I did that file cabinet and I had so many inquiries about it. I sold the file cabinet and people are still asking about it. And so um, I think we have a lot of ugly file cabinets out there. and. People still use them. I mean, it's a day It's a day of the digital stuff, digital things, but people still use file cabinets. Um, and honestly, if you are a Dixie Bell aholic and you are buying transfers, the transfer tubes fit perfectly lengthwise, front to back in these file cabinets. Just saying, just letting you know. Um, masks behind the camera are... Hello. We got people on. You want to wanna relay some we names? Do. Let me know oh, who we got. Brenda, uh, Joanne, Juana is on. Hello, Juana. Hey, Juana. Um, Marina, Connie, howdy from Texas. This is Carrie, Lori, Yay. Kimberly. Yay. I'm so glad you guys are here. So, y'all get inspired by the craziest things. So, people have been asking about this file cabinet. I've had it on the back burner for quite some time because I really hadn't wrapped my head around the design yet. The other one that I posted yesterday was very adult-like. It had black and white stripes and hot pink and roses and a would you bend trim in gold. Really, really pretty, very elegant, um, pretty whimsical, but elegant also. This one is for someone, um, she is in Texas, she is an adult and she wants it in mini slash Mickey Mouse. Um, I guess she has a mini or Mickey Mouse room. I don't know what she's gonna store in here, but she bought this file cabinet and shipped it to me and I've been sitting on it since January uh, because I just, I couldn't get there and I have to get there with the project. So I'm there, I'm there. And this is what we're doing. We are gonna be using from the Bells and Whistles line, we're gonna use the Houndstooth stencil. And let me tell you how I came to this conclusion. I was talking to my daughter-in-law about, I wanna make Mickey or Minnie more adult. How can I make her more adult? And she was like, hold on. She went and got a pair of Mickey ears that my granddaughter has and they're mini mouse ears with a with a real pretty veil that comes over the face and the ears themselves are black and white houndstooth pattern and i was like what that is so beautiful and it was houndstooth i'm like i can use my houndstooth stencil so that's what we're going to do tonight together but i'm going to tell you if this is your file cabinet at home i want to talk to you for just a few minutes about um what you need to do so slick stick Slick stick, slick stick. Y'all know I use a lot of slick stick because I paint a lot of weird things. Um, I'm a weird thing painter. So, you know, mixing bowls, tea sets, gumball machines, file cabinets, all of those sorts of things that are made out of metal. Uh, you really need a slick metal. You really need to, to give them a nice coat of slick stick first. Actually, two coats. So, slick stick um, is made for slick surfaces like glass or windows or metal or formica or tile. Uh, we used it as a, a primer in my kitchen on tile. Um, what else? PVC, plastic, any anything like that. Any IKEA piece that you want to paint. If you're going to paint something IKEA, I'm going to tell you to use, use slick stick. So the directions on slick stick are to, to put a one liberal coat or a good coat on, um, let it dry overnight, put a second coat on the second day, um, let that dry for a few hours, and then you're ready for your project. So this piece had a coat of slick stick put on it yesterday. It dried overnight. I put a second, I rolled, I actually used a roller this for this project. A lot of metal, if it's got a flat surface, rollers are great. Um, they go on with, you know, it looks like it's been sprayed on. Um, second coat of slick stick this morning and then a coat of cotton. So that is what I've done so far. All right, so let me show you what I've got as far as the design goes. If y'all have any questions about painting on metal or using slick stick or if you've had struggles with anything like that, um, my nose itches, my nose itches. Let me know, uh, ask away. Matt's watching the comments right now and, and he will ask for you. Ask away. Okay, so what I did was the other file cabinet that I did 
was divided in half. So y'all know I've done like dressers, nightstands, things like that that have a double mm. personality. So I divide them in half and I do one paint, one paint finish, one paint finish on top, and one paint finish down here on the bottom. Um, so that one was horizontal stripes on it and hot pink painted in uh, mostly peony on one side and then the other was stripes. So I decided that I would do this one the same way. So I've divided it in half this way and then I've done kind of a slant on the sides, but we'll get to that later. We're just going to focus on the front tonight. I am going to use would you bend trim on this one, but I'm going to do a thinner would you bend trim. This is uh, the rope, like the rope would you bend trim. I don't know, Dixie Bell's out of a lot. The would you bend you can get on the Dixie Bell page. Um, I put my link at the top of this video. Anything that we're talking about tonight, the slick stick is like your best friend. If you don't have some, I, I you, you will move forward with more painting projects if you have this and you keep it on hand. Um, would you bend can also be found <coughs> under, uh, under tools, would you bend. Slick stick is under, uh, I think it's under tools as well. All right, so the Hounds to Stencil is under the Bells and Whistles tab. On If you follow the link over, uh, the Hounds to Stencils, which you're all gonna want it after you watch us use it, um, that can be found under Bells and Whistles, under Stencils. Um, so anyway, but this will run across just like this. We'll heat it up, it heats up, it's a wonderful product. You heat it up, it, it gets loose. If I do this right now, it's gonna snap, it would break. But if I heat it up, it'll become like putty and we're gonna glue that across the side, but I won't do that until much later. So I decided that I wanted to do Mickey on one part, Minnie on another part. So half of this is gonna be black and white hound's tooth up here at the top, and this part is gonna be red with white polka dots like Minnie's dress, okay? So Minnie, I decided I wanted to do their ears. So what I did was I, did these ears. I made myself a pattern. Y'all know I'm very resourceful. Um, those of you who have crickets could probably pr uh, do a cricket set of mini ears and Mickey ears. I'm just going to let y'all know that I don't do a cricket. I don't like machines like that. They don't like me. I don't like them. We cannot be friends. Um, I can be friends with y'all if y'all have one. Uh, feel free to send me all the Mickey mini ears or whatever I need, but um, this is the deal. When I started painting furniture, those machines weren't even out. Um, I got so wrapped up in painting furniture. I have been buried in painting furniture ever since that I haven't had the time to stop and learn something like that. I haven't made the time to stop and learn something like that. And if it goes anything like a sewing machine, I wouldn't like it anyway. So I just hand draw everything. <laughs> so I drew out my own. I just opened it up on Google and just drew out my own. What I do, this is a little artist tip here for you. When something is going to be matching on each side, you need it to be identical. Well, who can draw one ear and then have the other a bit the same? Not me, I, I, they would be totally different. So I just draw one, I, I always just draw one. So I did it on flimsy paper so I could fold it in half. I did half of it like this, like this, and then I stopped, I just drew half. And then I cut a big square of paper out, I folded it in half like this, folded it in half right down the middle, and I just traced out my identical side onto the other side. I just traced it. That way I know they're identical. They're exactly the same, and I cut it out, and I open it up, and I have an exact pair of mini ears, and her bow, not only did her ears need to match, but her bow need to match. Then, because this is so flimsy, I wasn't sure how to work it, I needed it on like a poster board or cardboard or something like that, I'm just rambling. Is anybody asking me any questions? No, nope, no questions as of yet. No, you're so far away. Are just you sure? Are you watching. sure? Yes, I'm sure. You are sitting way too far away from <laughs> the camera, buddy. Yeah, I'm, All right, I'm you better do a good job. I'm really wrapped up. We're having a date night tonight. You better do a good job. <laughs> okay, so then after I did this, I wanted it on cardboard, but I have no cardboard here. I don't own cardboard. So I just found some sticker sheets that are kind of hard paper. And I laid this down on it. Extra step here, guys. Just an extra step. I laid this down on it and traced it out and I cut it out. And this is what I got. This is what I got. It, it looks bigger, right? It, look at this. So this is Minnie. She's got the bow. See, this is Minnie. We're going to get to the painting, guys, I'm, I promise. But I want you, my goal is to always inspire you to not just like sit down and start painting. Plan it out. Think about it. 
and and think outside the box. Think wait, well, I don't know how to draw Mickey ears. Well, can you draw one ear and half a bow? Because then you can do the whole thing. So here's Minnie. That's what I did. The little extra space in the middle, I just left it. And I drew the tops of her eyes because that's all I'm gonna see because I have an idea. I have an idea, right? So I want Mickey to be the same size. I didn't want Minnie to be bigger than Mickey. Nobody wants to be bigger than their husband or their boyfriend, right? So I wanted her to be the same size. So I took this pattern and I laid it down. Now, look how weird this is. Doesn't this look so much bigger than this? They're the same. Look at this, watch the ears. It's the same thing, I traced it. But this time, I traced it to the bow and then I just pulled it away and I just finished drawing my line the rest of the way down. And then I just did the center of his head. So there's Minnie, right? I mean, Mickey. So now we have Mickey and Minnie. And I didn't even have paper big enough to do this. I actually taped, you can see that this has been taped down the middle. I actually taped together two pieces of harder paper. Um, you froze. I'm is she sorry. back? Are you, is she still frozen? Is everybody saying that? Two people. Okay, well don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. I is haven't touched it. Do I look frozen to you? No. no. Oh, But okay. I'm watching through the camera, so. Okay, well, if you're frozen, hopefully you guys know to leave and come back, and it, it should be, you should be better. I guess if we're frozen, they can't hear us anyway. I know. I know. Are others around? Others are still talking to us? You, you guys, does it look okay? Uh, Sandy said she didn't freeze. Okay, good. Connie can see us. Sandy's not frozen. Thanks, guys. I'm not frozen. I'm still moving. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm still working over here. Okay, so I'm cutting out Mickey. Now y'all are going to help me make a decision, but I, I say that, but I kind of already know what I'm gonna do, but I want y'all to feel like you have some input. <laughs> you do. All right, so this is my Mickey, this is my Minnie. Now let me show you where I think I wanna put them. I think, I could do it like this, where they're coming out sat halfway around like this. One's on one half and one's on the other. But I kind of want them on my diagonal line like this. And I want her on the top because I want her red bow to be showing because it's going to be red glitter. I'm going to paint it in honky tonk red, but then I'm going to glitter it. The lady wants lots and lots of gold and lots and lots of glitter. Lots of bling, she said. And then I want to put Mickey like this. What do y'all think? Like this and like that. What do y'all think? Do y'all like that? Is that it's kind of weird? But remember, the paint finishes are going to be split. So... This is gonna be the black and white houndstooth with the red bow on it. And this is gonna be the red with white polka dots with all black Mickey ears down here on it. Do we have any hearts? Any thumbs up? They think this is just too funky. They like it. I don't think enough time has gone by to see the response. From that's my plan, okay? All right, that's my plan. So now, let me show you what I'm gonna do next because I know that I'm gonna use this stencil on this. Now. I could just not worry about my ears right now, right? And I could just stencil. But then I have a stencil pattern that I've done that I have to do artwork on top of. It's just, you might see the impression of the hound's tooth. I just don't wanna do that. Mm. Or I could put Mickey, I mean Minnie up here and trace around it and tape off my stencil in that area. Or how about we just tape the ears up there and leave them and we stencil all over them and around it. And then we will take the stencil off the negative impression of her will already be left there and I can do my artwork in that space. Monica, so, oh sorry, go ahead. No, that's fine, go ahead. Uh, she was just commenting that Dixie Bell should bring out some Disney themed stencils transfers. Oh yeah, I wonder, I wonder how much, I don't know, how, Disney's pretty. They'd, yeah, they'd be charging you. Yeah. yeah, I can't imagine, but I don't know, maybe. I mean, they did have to do something similar like that for the Alice in Wonderland to be able to Diane says, so cool, this. look awesome. Roxanna says, good idea. Donna can't wait. Love the plan. Y'all are so sweet. Who is that? Is that Donna Trouble? That is, no. No. Donna Serrell. Donna Serrell. Thanks, you guys. Listen, this is what I want to tell you. I know that very few people out there are going to want to paint a Mickey and Minnie, uh, what is this thing called? File cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> File cabinet. I almost said glove box. What? Do do people even know what a glove box is anymore? Do people still say glove box? Uh, Linda's asking, so Mickey's going to be upside down? 
Yes, they'll be facing each other. Yes. Um, see how I left the straight line across the bottom because I wanted to either put them on the edge or I wanted to put them across this right here. So yeah, it's a little, you know, abstractish. ish uh, Anyway, my point is, I'm not going to I'm not here to teach you how to do Mickey or Minnie. That's that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to show you that you can paint on a file cabinet first of all. Donna and is here. Donna at Trouble is. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, hon. Um, I really am. I've been thinking a lot about you. I've been praying for you. Uh, the other thing is not only is it a file cabinet, but it's metal and you can paint metal. Paint your mixer. Paint your mailbox. How about a mail? It's summertime right now. Go get your mailbox. Take it down, bring it in, or go do it outside. You can do this exact same process without Mickey or Minnie on your mailbox. If you got a metal mailbox, slick stick it and paint it. If you got a wood metal wood mailbox, you don't even have to slick stick it. So that's what I'm trying to inspire you here. Not because I think that you're gonna run home and do, you know, that you're gonna get off and go, oh, I'm gonna paint a file cabinet. But this is one of my custom orders. It's what was asked, and I feel like we can do it here together and then I can show you how to use the stencil and I can talk to you about slick stick and I can show you how to be resourceful and make your own patterns. Um, which, do y'all remember when I did the TV trays and I made a pattern in the middle of the TV tray and I showed y'all how I cut it out and um, oh my gosh, I've seen so many TV trays with that cut out middle pattern. So many. I'm like, people do watch. Y'all really do. You really do watch. Okay, so there we go. Now we're gonna do, um, now we're gonna do our stencil on top of that. So I think, babe, you know that brown paper, will you get it out of the wrapping paper closet right there? I'm gonna, I could tape off, I wanna cover this part right here, um, and I could just run a bunch of tape across it, but it's a lot cheaper if I just put some paper over the top of it before we start stenciling. Um, so he is gonna bring me some paper. I've got scissors. Thank you, honey. Thank you, dear. All right. Let's do this and cover half of it. Uh, because when you're stenciling, you don't, you really don't want to worry about uh, where the end of your stencil is or you know, get stenciling in an area that you don't really want to work on. So we're gonna do, is that long enough? We're gonna do like that. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. We don't have to cover the whole side, just where the where the edges meet is what we want to do. And did y'all notice before I put the tape on the back of that, because my paint is fresh, um, you know, I don't want it peeling up. I'm putting it on my pant leg and pulling it off. I'm detacking my tape, just taking a little bit of that extra tackiness off. So we don't need to worry about it right there so much, but we will run this paper like this. Oops, I don't want it to go over. One row of tape probably would have done it, but because I'm going to be talking to y'all at the same exact time, I feel like I don't want to have to pay that close of attention. Where'd you go, babe? He totally left. Matt. Oh, I think someone's at our door. I think someone's here. Okay, well, I can't see any comments at all, and he just left to go into our door, so... Y'all are talking to him. Just be patient. He'll be back. All right. So now I'm going to just take this over here on the side so it stays out of the way. But that leaves me free to be pretty pretty sloppy with the edge of my stencil if I should I need to be. Now, I don't roll my stencils very often at all, you guys. I am mostly a, br I love to stencil. And I, I brush stencil. I like to brush stencil. All right. Okay, so we've got this side covered, and I probably need to cover up here as well. Oh, I need to detack it. Let's see. Hold on. It actually needs to be like this. Like this. All right. I'm not 
gonna do this side right now, but let me turn this a little bit and show you guys. This is what it's gonna do on the side. This thing is so big. Um, can y'all see how I made my blue tape angle down like that? Let me see if y'all can see that. Hold on. Sorry guys, I had to go get him. I can't work without. Sorry, it's a that is ridiculous. On the ring doorbell. Well, you just have to say sorry. We're we're filming, and our Dixie Bell family is much more important. All right. Okay, so that is all taped over. We look good there. I'm gonna pour the. Um, all I've got here, guys, I've just got random rollers. There's nothing special. Any roller, really, a roller, a foam roller works really, really good on metal. So. I'm probably going to use the foam roller right now, um, and I've got, this stencil has never been used. I have several of these, and the others have paint on them still. Stencils are really easy. They're reusable. Uh, they wash off so easy, as long as you do it right after, if you don't let your paint cure on it. Uh, but even if you do let your paint cure on it, it doesn't matter. You can still use it. They're so, reusable. Uh, Vicki wants to make sure, so silk paint for outside plus gator hide for weather? You can use chalk paint outside. You don't have to just use silk paint for outside. They, they say the silk paint, say, silk paint because it's UV, I believe it's UV resistant. Um, but I've seen a lot of things painted over the years in chalk paint and then gator hide it on top. And they hold up like you can't imagine. I give the scenario of, um, she used to be a Dixie Belle retailer, or she still is, I believe. Um, Carla Pine, I forgot, she's changed her business name now. But she painted outside her shop in, what? Where, what's that beach, babe? What you, Fort Myers, Fort Myers Beach. Fort Myers, yeah. Fort Myers Beach. She painted some walking stones out in front of her. On She's on the, on the ocean drive, like right across the streets of the ocean. Lots of traffic, lots of foot traffic. She painted these cement stones. So for those of you who want to paint for outdoors, this was a testimony. Um, it's, the, it's the drive, like where people park, like drive up in and park. It's a parking lot. But decoratively in the parking lot, they had these like cement stone pavers kind of stuck down into the cement. And uh, she had painted all of those individual ones with Dixie Bell colored paint and, uh, and then put um, a gator hide over the top of them. And when, I think when I'd been there, it had been three years. I think it had been three years that she had painted those. The color was still true to color. The gator hide had not yellowed and nothing was worn off. That had been walked on, driven on. I mean, crazy, 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 crazy. So yes, but silk works as well. And then gator hide is a really good um, cover. If you're thinking about who was asking that, maybe she's thinking about her mailbox. Okay, so Matt picked me a up a couple of trays at Home Depot a while ago. So I'm just pouring out, this is caviar, which is my favorite black. Just pouring out um, the caviar. And I think the reason I like to brush my stencil is because I feel like I have more control over um, the amount of paint that's going on there. And I, I'm not as good with a roller, but we're gonna give this a try with the roller. See how it goes. I used a roller to apply everything on here so far. <clears throat> All right, so I don't, it would be better if I wasn't on camera, I would lay this piece down on its back and then just lay this on it like this and roll over it. Uh, but because I'm with you guys and I want y'all to be able to see really well, let's do this. Let's go ahead and just do it right over the top of Minnie and see how this goes, okay? Let's just do it. I'm gonna turn my back all the way. Now you're gonna talk to me while they're, y'all talk to me while we're doing this. Does anybody have any questions? I'm gonna do all the way from, well, now let's see, that one ends, so I guess we can do it just right to that. I wanna go all the way. I wanna do the edge too, not just the, not just the drawer. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off the edge a little bit like that. And then we'll just match up on the other side. So I need to move this over here. Do you want me to hold that? Um, no, I'm good. I'm good, thank you. What were y'all talking about, baby? 
Well, um, the herbs, I kept thinking. When, when, we, when Lucy started barking last night, yeah? her ring doorbell went off, and there were a couple of guys at the door and a dog. Anyway, she didn't know if it was related. Okay, so I don't want to have very much paint on here, so I'm actually got a tart next to me. I'm gonna roll some of this off. I'm, I, I'd rather go back than, and then have too much and uh, bleed. So here we go, and I'm just gonna go light. I just want the, this is not gonna be perfect. I. Yeah, you might should hold it, babe. Can okay. you come up there and hold that? Will you stencil the top and what's the easiest way to match up? Yes, I am, and I'll, that's a really good question. Who asked that question? I don't know, I have to Google it. Okay, that's perfect, babe. Thank you, got it? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's good. I'm gonna get a little bit more paint. Oh, wait, wait. Do I have it right here? I don't know if I've got enough right here. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Take it off. Oh, that is so pretty. You done with? That is so pretty. Um, no, because I'm going to, uh, let's put it um, right here, babe. Yeah. So let's match it to, let's do this one. Well, don't, babe, because it's got paint on the back. You have to be careful. Here we go. Right where you want. Awesome. Okay, let's go down here. Now, it's better if you let it dry in between. Were y'all holding your breath? <laughs> um, no, here, we're going to go all the way down, baby. We got all this. So, like this. It's better if you let it dry in between, but because I want y'all to really get, like, okay, can you hold your fingers up above me? Yeah. Because I want y'all to get the full effect, we're just pushing, we're just trudging right through. So I'm just putting it on my roller and then rolling a little bit off onto the uh, tarp. This is a little bit off here. Oh, no, 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 you're going the wrong way. And don't drag it, baby, you'll drag paint. Okay. All right. That looks so good on the white. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah, that looks cool. Do y'all love that? Okay, y'all wanna take Minnie off? Let's take her off. And that is where she is, is where I will do my artwork. So, let's take this off. Awesome. He says her five-year-old Lucy learned how to bagok at her chicks, thanks to her husband. <laughs> Chicken noise. <laughs> bagok? I like how you said bagok. How did she type that out? B-A-H-G-O-K. Bagok. Talking about bagoking. Yes, look at that nice straight line. This looks really good. Really, really good. All right, let's take this off. Julie has painted 13 gumball machines and loving every single one. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. You're going through the <laughs> slick stick like crazy, I bet. Who, who is that? 
Julie Binker's Bishop. Ju I was going to say it was Julie Binker's Bishop. I had a feeling. All right. So there we go. You can see her outline. So that will be, that will be Mickey. I mean, Minnie right there. There she is. All right. So now I think I'll do the same thing for Mickey and then I'm going to paint red. I'm going to paint all of the red. So I think I'll go ahead and put him in place and then um, we'll start using. Now, listen, I want to talk to y'all about red. So how many of y'all have painted honky tonk red over white? Have y'all done it? Red, honky tonk red actually has any red usually has trouble going over white. It usually takes several coats to get a really good, dense red. Honky Tonk, however, has a really, really, uh, it's, it's very uh, pigmented, very pigmented. So you really do pretty good with, with uh, getting full coverage. So Donna wants to know which white you used on that. That's cotton. I usually use fluff, but I just, I went white as white could be. So fluff <laughs> is my favorite white by Dixie Belle. Fluff is a white that's sort of like a soft grayish undertone. So it's more of like, or they say it as a gray undertone. I just think it's a softer white. Uh, kind of reminds me of a marshmallow. Cotton is more sterile white like this. And if y'all look up close, you'll see that there's like a little bit, you know, that we don't, I'm not after perfection here at all. I actually, when I stencil ever, I'm not after perfection. It's more the, uh, now, I want perfection if I'm using the silk screen stencils, Dixie Belle silk screen stencils. Um, those are meant to be perfect. They're crisp and clear and tiny and lots of detail. This right here, I just want the overall feel of Houndstooth. It doesn't have to be perfect. JK Design wants to know if she doesn't have anybody to hold her stencil there, does she just tape it? You can. I usually just, y'all have seen me stencil before. Like, I did a video when I did the big big buffet recently, you know, the big Latin whimsy buffet. I just hold it in my hand and stencil. Um, but you can tape it. You can use t stencil <clears throat> adhesive. I really don't like it that much. It's super sticky and annoying. And then your stencil, you got to clean it off. And I don't like it. Uh, so I don't really promote that. But the easiest thing to do, Julie, or whoever it was that asked that, would have been to lay this cabinet down on its back. And if you've got a dresser drawer fronts that you're doing late, put your dresser drawers down so that you're working on them above them. So you can just lay the stencil out and then just hold it, kind of position it in place with your hand or tape it if you want. Okay, so Minnie's up there. Mickey's gonna be down here like so, like that. And his doesn't have to be a perfect outline. So we are going to roll on some red and we'll see what kind of coverage we get. Um, if you feel like you need more, just use Gray Boss. Use Gray Boss. It'll keep you from, um, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have Boss on anyway, right? Because that is uh, going to help you with adhesion, which Slick Stick's already there to do that job, but it'll block the white. It'll make you have to do less, less coats of the red. So I'm just putting a, a, a line here to kind of, so I don't roll over my stencil. And my stencil, honestly, guys, it's already dry. Like, that's already dry. So I'm going to put my tape, I'm going to go ahead and put my tape like right on it. Really? Yeah. I'm just not gonna press real hard. It's more of a guide for my eye than anything. I'm gonna put this up here and let that wrap around the corner. And then this corner where this is going to be at a different angle. All right, what time is it? Okay, good. Let's get some red on and see how this goes with the roller. We'll do it with the roller and see. Now, most of the time on uh, flat metal, I like to pounce. I like, I prefer using a brush and I like to pounce cover it. It gives really, actually, babe, will you wash that out in case this doesn't go well? I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna use that. Now, one thing I will tell you is this tray has these little beaded nipples. <laughs> it has like a hundred nipples. And um, so it leaves an impression on your roller. That'll go away, you just have to roll over it a few times. Or when you roll it off onto the uh, drop cloth, 
All right, here we go. Let's see what kind of, oh, it's beautiful. We aren't gonna need, we've got beautiful coverage. It's beautiful, babe, our coverage is beautiful. Now, even if I get a little bit of bleed through here, it's okay because we are gonna have a would you bend trim dividing the two of these, but holy cow, we just went full on mini Mickey now. Look, babe, Woo! we are, we are totally Mickey Minnie. So I'm just painting over. It's okay if it bleeds through under the uh, ears here because that's just where I'm gonna do the artwork anyway. I'm gonna be painting that by hand, so that doesn't really matter, but holy cow, this is great coverage. So you really do not need, you won't need boss. It's a good color for those mice. And there's a Mickey red. That's so, oh really? It's honky tonk. I wasn't sure what you meant by that. Um, babe, will you bring me, Screwdriver? Well, that's not really gonna work. I wanted a screwdriver so I can open these drawers. I'll have to wait till I have all my tape off. I need to open the drawers and get the tops and the sides of the drawers. Um, but yeah, the whole bottom here, all the way, all the way to like right there. Woo, look, I did that perfectly. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like a, I love this. I call their, this is Dixie Bell's Honky Tonk Red. I call it Christmas red. It is as true Christmas red as you can get. They have uh, they have rustic red, which is more of a brownish red, and they have barn red. Is uh, barn red is a very true red still, but it's a, even a darker tone than the honky tonk. This is a very bright, bright red. Now, do you see this white line down here? So the, they don't touch. The drawers don't touch. I'm going to have to remove the drawer and go in with a roller and roll the inside edge so that you won't see that white. It's good though, doesn't it? I'm gonna have to get, good. get around here with a little detail brush to get around that lock. I just painted right over the lock. That'll still work. Yeah. Yep, that looks great. All right. So I am gonna go ahead and take off this so we can see our Mickey ears. I know I'm gonna need, I am gonna need another coat. I can see that where I've rolled. Um, but I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll go back and do another coat. But I won't need the tape here because I don't have to get right up to that line. Because like I said, it's gonna have a uh, it's gonna have a would you bend mold there anyway. So let's let's do this and then take Mickey off. See my black stayed underneath there. It was already dry. Fun, right? Isn't this fun? I mean it's like a it's like a blank canvas. Um, and not, not even like a blank canvas like furniture because furniture, I can't get this off. Furniture is a blank canvas as well. I can't get that off. <laughs> Here, hold on, hold on. Furniture is also a blank canvas, but it has, you know, handles and trim and uh, <coughs> decorative pieces. These file cabinets there, you take the, these handles when, when I opened it out of the box. Is that they, a foam roller? That you're using there? Yeah, one was foam and I don't even know what these were. One was foam and one was kind of fuzzy. And they're they're just rollers that I have here. I don't use rollers that often, but I keep them in house. Oh, oh yeah, we're really gonna see Mickey here for sure. Oh, hello, hello Mickey. Oh, that's so cute. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh look, that opened a little bit. So while that opened, I can just take this and roll right on the edge, just like that, and down the side. Because they don't rub. You know how sometimes the furniture will rub? This doesn't rub. And then I'm like, you know, can I reach up in there? I need like a little, oh, here we go. You got me one, thank you. Thank you, dear. That. Oh, I don't need to do it where the ear is because that's going to be black. Do they like it? Yep, Melissa says it's so stinking cute. <laughs> Melissa, Brittany hi, sweetie. Says love. I love it. I love it. I mean, at first I was like, oh, I don't know. Oops. I'm going to have to take this out to get underneath there. But at first I was like, really? I mean, I want to do it for this this lady. What a doll. She's a doll, but. Uh, she also bought a tea set. I'm going to be doing a tea set for her as well. Not a Mickey. I thought she would want me to do a Mickey tea set. She wants an Alice tea set. Uh, but after I really thought about it, I was like, I can do this. I can make this unique. I 
can make it fun. It doesn't have to be juvenile. When will you fill in the ears? Uh, after I get the body done. So I will take, the, uh, someone had asked about how we match up. So I will take this stencil and take it around the side, but I'm honestly, guys, I'm not gonna worry about it matching up because watch what happens. If you take this, because this stencil has so many cutouts, if you try to take it around a corner, do you see what happens? They stick out like this. I am not gonna OCD over that. I'm just not. I'm gonna turn it sideways and lay it flat. I'll try to get it as best I can, but I'm not gonna try to wrap that around the corner. I'll just try to match up where those are. I'll lay it there and then I'll just stencil from that point. So the side will be stenciled um, and it'll be all black and white with a little bit of red down around the bottom because the red wraps around the bottom. And then this up here, this black and white wraps around the top and comes down the side and then the red will be on the side as well. So once I finish the body, um, and then on the top, the top is going to be the Harlequin as well. Uh, so once I finish the whole body, I'll come in and start hand painting the ears and uh, doing her bow and glittering her bow and stuff like that. And then I'll put my, uh, I'll put this on and this is going to be in, I believe, gold. I think we're going to do this in gold. I might even do it in sunshine yellow because I think there's a little bit of yellow usually in Mickey and Minnie. I'm not sure. Um, haven't really decided yet and it might change. Don't really know. And I hadn't decided, I thought I might do their hands on the sides. So on one side, can, can they see this babe if I turn this a little bit? Yeah. Okay, how about if I turn it this way? Can I just turn my cabinet without it falling through? Stop there. Stop there? <laughs> can they see the side? Uh, now they can. Okay. Well here, let me. Well, let me show you where this tape line is. I'll do the tape line across it. So I was thinking, I printed out what some of their hands look like, or not it printed out, I Googled it and I have it on my phone. Vicki, so you should paint your bar fridge. Vicki wants to paint her bar fridge. Oh yeah, yes you should, and you would follow these exact same steps that we've done here. Yep, same thing. All right, y'all see this? So see this red? This red will go around the side right here. Let's do it. Let's do some red around the side, just like this. It's red, so it's gonna be all red on the side. And this up here will be black and white uh, houndstooth. So I thought about doing on one side, coming out from where they meet, two little Mickey white gloves. And then on the other side, doing Minnie's little gloves, and hers have the little red bows on the top of each glove, and doing the glitter red bows on top of the gloves. Donna says, don't you want to paint more red? It does make me want to paint red. <clears throat> it does. Oh, you mean, should I have more red on it? Mm -hmm. I think there'll be, I think there'll be plenty. I think there'll be plenty. Uh, I needed to have a strong black and white presence on that side if I did the red glitter bow, because notice the glitter bow goes on the black and white side. That's why I did it like that. So Nancy wants to know if she can paint on the outside of a microwave. I don't see why not. Yeah, I don't. So cleaning it. I put I, on it. I think you can paint everything. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I feel like you can paint everything. You do feel like that. I do. I do. I'm just gonna sit here and paint this real quick before we go, you guys. So this was a lot of fun. I, didn't, I wasn't sure how y'all were gonna receive this live. I didn't know, but as long as you're, look at y'all are already thinking, like someone's talking about their mailbox and outside and y'all oh. are talking, huh? Sorry. Talking about talking your bar fridge and your microwave. Donna was talking about the side that you're working on right now. Oh. Everybody seems to be liking it. Looks cool, looks great, very cute, love it. This lady, you guys, uh, she's been through a lot. Um, I don't know her personally. She's just someone who follows me. And um, I'm just going to tell y'all, she lost her husband to COVID uh, right mm. at the holidays, right at Christmas. So um, I can't imagine. I was like, I will do whatever you want me to do. What do you want me to do? What, you want, what do you want me to paint? I'm not going to question anything that will make you smile and anything so donna this says, is for her donna says best time i've had in almost two months donna donna's also been through a lot 
You sweet girl. I'm so glad that you were here. So glad you were here and joined our Mickey Minnie. All right, so we'll let that dry. See, can y'all see that good? Ooh, got rid of my pain pants. So there we go, that's that. Um, I don't need to leave the tape there because that is gonna line. have trim on it. Voila! Huh? It's a good sharp line. Yeah, right? Looks good, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so I hope you learned something. I hope y'all did. Um, very out of the box, very, very out of the box. Please guys, if y'all have any questions, just reach out to me. Uh, you can shoot me a message. You can shoot me an, an email at info at tracysfancy.com. Um, I would love it if you would follow me over on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I appreciate you guys being here on Dixie Bell's page. I appreciate Dixie Bell for having me every single Wednesday night. And um, if you have any questions about product, let me know. Use my link. You can find your local retailer as well if you want to buy paint in person. My link, you can order it and have it shipped to your home. Um, that is all I have for you tonight. I'm going to go live over on my other page and we'll stencil out the rest of this and uh, on my other page, on Tracy's Fancy page. Um, but otherwise, I will be back with you guys next Wednesday night, and we will be painting a pantry door next Wednesday night. We are painting a full-size pantry door that my client drove me from another city to me. She brought me her kitchen pantry door, and we are gonna paint it together. We're gonna start on it, okay? All right, that'll be fun, because that's something really that a lot of people wanna do. I did, we did it. We painted our pantry door. So, um, anyway, y'all have a wonderful Wednesday night, okay? And maybe we'll see some of you on my page. Otherwise, uh, Weathered Hearts Designs is coming on in about 10 minutes. She'll be right behind us. Um, y'all can stick around and watch her, and y'all have a good night. We'll see y'all later. Bye. Adios.